Naif Chancellor Harriet Watt University, ini adalah satu peristiwa yang amat penting dan istimewa bagi saya. Saya ingin mengucapkan terima kasih kepada semua rakan-rakan sejawat saya sama ada di Scotland dan di Malaysia, di atas sokongan mereka yang berterusan. Memandangkan kita mempunyai para tetamu dari luar negara, maka izinkan saya untuk meneruskan ucapan ini di dalam bahasa Inggris. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome. <laughs> Both times trees have agreed to mark me out of ten at the end. <laughs> Still a little bit more to be eleven. <laughs> I don't think so. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, Harry Watt is an international university and now even more so, with the Ministry of Higher Education's recognition and registration of Harry Watt University Malaysia and our establishment in this beautiful building in the fabulous city of Putrajaya. I, I, I am, I can probably tell, hugely excited, a bit of a Cheshire cat at the moment. This is a tremendous building and I'm so delighted to be here. So we are amongst the UK's top five universities in terms of our international presence. A Harry Watt degree is recognised and respected internationally. We offer a truly global educational experience. Malaysia is our fifth campus, alongside Edinburgh, Orkney, one of the Northern Isles of Scotland, the Scottish borders, where we do textiles and design, and of course Dubai. But Harry Watt University Malaysia is a significant milestone in our vision to share our expertise and educational excellence across the globe. From early next year, we will provide our world-class education to students across Malaysia and Southeast Asia, leading them to become highly employable graduates with a strong professional direction and attributes and skills that will benefit employers and society. Over 94% of our graduates are in employment or further study within six months of graduating. That is a top 10 performance in the UK. Now, Dr. Kastan probably would agree with this. I can't believe it. It's just about one year from when we signed the agreement with Putrajaya Holdings, here in Putrajaya, to set up our new campus. That's that time. Where's, where's the year gone? And who would have guessed at what such an exciting year it's been? And actually a successful year for Harry Watt. Now later we will look at a video showing the highlights of, over the year, and I will be dancing to it going out style. <laughs> <laughs> but <laughs> don't laugh, it's, it's really gonna happen. <laughs> But just now, I would like to tell you about a few of our recent successes and activities. We are a research-led institution. And this year, our research grants and contracts income rose to over 23 million, the highest it has ever been. In the late summer, the university was awarded a number of terrific honors. We won, for the second year running, and this is an accolade that no other university has ever had, the Sunday Times Scottish University of the Year. For those of you who don't know it, the Sunday Times is the UK's leading Sunday newspaper and my favourite newspaper, I recommend it too. To, to uh, winning Scottish University of the Year, we were also rated best in the UK, not Scotland, best in the UK for our student experience. An incredible achievement. And we were rated third in the UK for teaching excellence. And this is out of 123 higher education institutions. We were also voted by students at a national student survey, and this is the biggest, most comprehensive student survey probably in the world. Every student, every undergraduate in a British university fills this in. And in that, we came fourth, just behind Oxford, Cambridge, and Bath. I like saying that, that's I'm just behind Oxford, Cambridge, and Bath, but maybe one day Oxford and Cambridge will be saying, just behind Harriet Watt <laughs> <laughs> This was excellent news for the university. In three of our subjects, chemical engineering, planning, and psychology, they were rated top in the UK, with chemistry, civil engineering, mechanical engineering, and marketing ranking second in the UK, but all, of course, top in Scotland. Other news over the year includes the growing population of students in Dubai, and now our student numbers have gone over 3,000. 
Dubai is a huge success. And in fact, the second phase of our building there is underway. So the Herrick Watt family continues to expand, with more new graduates joining our global network. I'm very proud of our alumni, and actually Malaysia has the largest alumni base outside the UK, with 3,500 alumni in Malaysia. They help to raise our profile, and they enhance our reputation wherever they go. So Herrick Watt is a great university, but we want to be even better. And this month, one month, I have launched our new strategic plan. You've got a little version of it on your chair, you should have. And that will give us our direction for the next five years. And it outlines our ambition. Our vision is to be world leading within, our own, within all of our specialist areas, of course, such as engineering, technology, business, to name a few. <clears throat> and the bedrock of our plan is global recognition and professional re relevance. Nothing gives me greater pleasure than our global ambition. We are actually part of a very select group of universities in the UK who can truly be called international. Many claim international, but not, not many can achieve it. So in concluding, I would like to thank Putrajaya Holdings. We have got a great partnership with, with, with PJH. They are the master planners and developers of this astonishingly beautiful city. And we are celebrating the milestone at our new premises. We have our registration and we are established. I am a very happy man. Tuan Tuan, Dan Puan Puan, Sekalia. Sebelum saya mengundu diri, izinkan saya untuk menyampaikan serangkap pantun. Bunga teda di atas pal. Anak tusun pasang pelita. Kalau tersilap, Tutu bicara, jemari disusun.